Show them a picture of Selassie. I. Let me tell them to protect the lie. You don't see him on an ancient monarchy. With the dagger full suit made from khaki. Long in the ghetto, we no gun shutter. And they let me live among sirens. Sirens in the streets. I got to reach Ethiopia away from the sirens in the street. I just the other day, reggae music I sell, Rasta music I play, old time story I tell, tell them that's the way to Timbuktu, a man back he gonna pull the pin back to, start fire shot, next team fling back to, all of a sudden shots start ring like school, and blaze like fire that a burn wild bush, now it's rocks and reeds and coffins a push, sirens! Sirens in the street, carry kill again and again. Bless the love to my brother Baba Kush, down in Abraham Fountain. Big up the whole man Zanzi reggae movement. Carry kill, send out enough love. Are you tired of being asked in an interview about picture of Selassie, considering that seven years have gone by since its release? I would never. Never, never get tired. I will never get tired of answering any question or any anything to do with His Majesty. And I give thanks for that. And if a hundred times, every minute I have to answer it or speak about it, and I will be joyful to speak about it, answer it, to sing about it, to sing about Him, anything. Let me rephrase. I'll be joyful to sing about Him, speak about Him. Mazanzi has a growing reggae scene. What are some of the qualities you think musicians should cultivate to help them succeed? I think man have to know well, you know what I mean? Like to, to know what part of the music they really want to deal with and go forward and, and, and deal with it. You know what I mean? I would say to the people in, you know what I mean? Manzanzi in Africa. I will say that, you know what I mean? If reggae is growing there, then the youth them need to get them keyboard and get them like a microphone set up and get them equipment and start, you know what I mean? Gravitating things, start learning the history of it, start learning the musicians, the, the, the people who play, the singers, you know what I mean? Know it, get the homework, learn it. And, you know what I mean? Most of all, you know, seeing themselves that they could add to that element that's been burning from ever more and will ever be burning. So it's just for you to add to the fire. The fire never cease. You know what I mean? So yeah, and I, that, that's why I will tell them, you know, get equipment, occupy yourself, learn the music, grow in the faith, and know that they could be a pioneer or, one, or someone in it in time to come because your work's in done, you know. It's a song, Burn Them Down. You see very skillful lyric, lyricism and wordplay in the first and third verses of the song. Mm -hmm. However, it's difficult to under, understand the point you're making about Jesus Christ. <laughs> Could you give us some insight? Well, let me say, Jehovah Witness knocked my door to teach me about Jesus Christ. Soon as I opened the door, them said, Jesus Christ. So let's stop right there. That in the West Indies, in Trinidad and Tobago, we use the word Jesus Christ for expression. Uh, for instance, a man might be speeding, coming on you, and uh, bang and crash. And you go, Jesus Christ, you know, like wow. <laughs> right? So we use Jesus Christ as wow. So Jehovah Witness knock at me down to teach me about Jesus Christ. Soon as them knock the door and open them, say Jesus Christ. Cause the whole place smell like Jesus Christ. Which is frank and myrrh and incense, herbs and spices. Don't the children find they look like Jesus Christ. And I say nobody feels the pain when Jesus Christ. But soon as they get the blessing, them say Jesus nice. So last year the first hour we chase. So, it's speaking about Christ and his kingly character as Emperor Haile Selassie I, and then it's speaking about Haile Selassie as the Lamb, Christos, 
Or some might want to use the word Christos, so we would say Yeshua, or the Nazarene, I like to call them. So that's what going on with the song. The song speaking about the different levels of the manifestation of God, of the Creator. You know what I mean? And letting them know that, you know what I'm saying? Even if they want to use that European name or whatever they might choose to call it, you still know the true black deity and the black crap, you know? Mary and, and, and the child. Miriam, I should say. Which musicians do you draw your inspiration from? I draw my inspiration from every musician. And you know already with the balance that is using the musical singers and players of instruments, which strings are in D. So yeah, you know, once it's music to uplift and it's conscious music, every artist, every musician, singer, player, instrument, DJ, no matter what, inspires me. Inspires I and I. Which do you prefer, live performance or studio work? All of the above. <laughs> I love live performance, I love studio work, I love live band, if you give me a track that I from on the computer, I love it, no complaints. Jai the Almighty. How can people get a hold of your music? Well, they have the internet thing for them to do it. K-H-A-R-I space K I. L L K I double L Carry Kill. You just put that name in. Put it in iTunes. Put it in YouTube, Google. See the spider department. See the nose say. Mm. Okay. Yeah man. Carry kill them. And if you see me on the street, I always have the album. And as soon as I'll have the Jesse Lassie too, I'm the singer, I'll be moving like a moving stone. My way, me trust in the Father and me trust and obey. I won't quit, I won't give up. Carrie Kill, South Even Africa, you don't know. My Zanzi Reggae, big up yourself. My brother Baba Kush large of yourself and I bless you and greet you in the Ethiopian tradition. Bless you, my heart. Well, woman, first can do so I do a black. Last year, the flows. Amen. Jala Safari.